and we will get to that in a few minutes. But first, I want to tell you the true story of how I became a lair camper. To me, it's not true, but it has some degree of truthiness. Now, I know you all heard Mr. Fritz tell of his sad loss of money in my native New York City. And I want to tell you how you can avoid that. What you have to do is listen to how I tell my story and how I move. Because it will be totally the New York experience. And if you can imitate that, no one will try to cheat you with three card Monty. They will recognize you as one of them. <laughs> I got a call from my friend. And my friend says, you got to come to the lair. I say, fine. What's a waste stop? I'll go. My friend says, then you can't take this subway. you got to fly to San Francisco. Then you rent an SUV. You drive three hours into the mountains. You said, an SUV. I'm from New York. I take public transportation. I don't drive gas guns, I say. And besides that, we're very green. We live in small apartments. We have one bathroom for four people. Where they have four bathrooms for one person. <laughs> my friend says, oh, you're going to love the lair. They have four bathrooms for 300 people. <laughs> 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 what should I pack? So my friend says, well, you need warm clothes for when it's cold, cold clothes for when it's warm, you need a swimsuit for when it's sunny, and you need board games for when it's rainy. I said, when it's rainy, don't I need an umbrella? My friend says, no. Oh, you need board games so you won't get bored. <laughs> I say, you've been reading Amelia Bedelia again. <laughs> but I say, wait a second. Who's going to give me the $1,000 gift card to sex so I can wear all the, get all those new clothes? I said, stop, you don't understand. At the lair, you don't wear new clothes. You wear old clothes, clothes with holes, clothes with stains. <laughs> because otherwise, people will think you're putting on airs like maybe you went to I said, did you just go through a tunnel and you're breaking up? My friend says, no, I'm, a, I'm at the lair. I'm using Skype. The internet is terrible here. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you're going to go late. I said, my friend says, yeah, I go at the beginning, but then I always go back for week nine, because that's when the good people go. <laughs> <laughs> Now, who remember that I used to go one, two? But it 
I have ten toes, and therefore the appropriate words would be five ten. However, if you like figures of speech that is symmetric to your autonomy and have gone to a school like broccoli, then you will understand that the toes would stand for the piece. In which case, one two would be appropriate. Anyway, I will protect you to make your own toes. Dirty toes, dirty knees, dirty toes, five, ten. Okay. The next part is dirty hair, dirty, dirty neck, dirty nose. Now, you see the long nose. Yeah. I've made a little variation for this year, so that you can practice speaking like a New Yorker likes previous entertainer. So, at the end, you take dirty nose, and if you say one, two, you go, no, you have to move your chin way out and say, says how? <laughs> or, you move your chin way out, you said five, ten, you move way out, and you say, since when? So, you have to choose which you prefer, whether you want to go, says who? Or, since when? But anyway, try to dirty hair, dirty neck. Take a bite, honey, bro.